Hey y'all, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're gonna to be metal detecting this early 1900s house again, but this time, we're gonna be going under the house. You heard it. I'm going underneath this house into the crawl space to do some metal detecting. So, without further ado, let's get to digging. I'm also using the snake, the nail snake coil today. I think it's three and a half inches wide by six and a half inches long. And I thought that I would be able to benefit with this coil underneath the house. So we're going to find something. Hopefully. Found an old jar. I don't really know how old this is. Maybe we might find one buried under here. <laughs> Full of money. So, every time I get by that insulation, 
I guess there's some kind of aluminum or something in it. Making my metal detector go off. I really can't find a good opening without a bunch of wires. I mean, there's wires under here and this duct work is... There's a couple of spots. I just don't know if I can get to them. All this wire and stuff is interfering. Out of that. We might have to crawl out and uh, just metal to take the backyard. wire speaker wire and I don't want to damage anything ever see so y'all I'm sorry I didn't couldn't find anything under there uh, that was just a lot of electrical wire and one thing I didn't want to tear it all down trying to crawl up under there and maneuver around all that stuff and plus the duct work the uh, electrical wire and stuff like that was making my metal detector go crazy but i'm outside now and we're going to metal detect a little bit on this backyard i'm going to leave the snake nail coil on and test it out out here even though it is a small coil it might uh separate some of the good stuff from the bad stuff so let's get to digging Bam! I metal detected right here the other day. Well, this small coil I hit on this. So we're going to see. Just how much. This little coil. So I know that's not a stone. Still pretty cool nonetheless. And I don't think that's silver. It must be aluminum. Piece of a pull tab. The old pull tab.
I have no idea. I know it's a... I don't know. I was about to say it's a metal top off something, but... I see that hinge. Like a little hinge looking thing right here. Well, my camera locked up on me there for a second. I don't know what happened. I don't know if it got me detecting this and digging it or not. So, I don't know. I just happened to look at it and saw that it was locked up there for a second. Oh, got a coin, looks like. And that is what it is. I can't get a date on it because it's actually I don't know if you can see how thin that is. It looks like flattened out memorial. And I just dropped it. It's a flattened out memorial. But you can clearly see Lincoln's face on it. Well, that's cool. Let me see if I can get my other camera out and I'm going to try to clean this up a little bit. All right. <clears throat> I have no clue what this is. Pretty cool, though. Again, I forgot to turn the camera on. <clears throat> what in the world? Almost looks like a boat rotor. That is huge. Let's dig it. That is I'm 
not sure whose face that is, but I think that's Bill Clinton. Got an American flag behind it. Says Zippo. Bill Clinton on that side. Now that's a pretty cool find. Not real sure how old it is, but. Well, y'all, didn't have so much luck today finding cool coins like I did the first trip. But anyways, that's all part of metal detecting. You go to a lot or a property, sometimes you find something, sometimes you don't. Also, but I did find some interesting finds today. When I clean them up, they'll be uh, in this video too. So anyways, if you liked the video, make sure you subscribe, like, share, and until the next one, I'll see you in the next video.